Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. I'm here with my brother Gabe. Hello. And in this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, or Mattress Autopsy, we're still turn, uh, floating around names. We're taking a vote though. We're taking a vote, so yeah. Just Comment put in the comments, below. Anatomy of a Mattress, or Mattress Autopsy. We are gonna buy, be dissecting the Helix Dusk Mattress. So, let's go. So the Helix mattress, that's a very popular online brand. Like, you know, I'm sure if you probably listen to any podcast, you probably heard a commercial about the Helix mattress. And it's a pretty... It's more kinda, unique. It's right? a little different, yeah. you know, than your, your standard just foam. At least they have a, diff, a little more unique story and positioning about the customization that they can do. So there is, they have a little bit more options than your standard bed in the box online mattress. So... Um, little story, little background story on this one. This was given to us by a customer who've had it for, I think, 2018, 2019-ish. 2018, yeah, ish, in that, in that ballpark. Yeah, so what's the issue? What was the issue on this mattress? It, it just lost its comfort. It wasn't comfortable anymore. I mean, also slept kind of hot, they said, too. So just wasn't, you know, served its purpose. Yeah, I mean, it gave him a couple years of life on yeah. the bed. So... You know, they've done, Helix, to be fair, they've done a few changes over the last couple of years. So this one is, this mattress is a few years old. Yeah. So um, before we open this up, and this may, they make it a little bit easier. Usually we'll cut and open the mattresses with a knife, but this one, we, they, they give us zippers. So, yeah. but let's do a quick measurement on the thickness. We always like to start with the measurement of the thickness of the mattress. Just tells us a little bit what we're working with as far as the comfort layers, how much padding that there is. So let's see what we have right here. And again, whenever you're measuring a mattress, it's always gonna have a straight edge going across it and then going up and it'll give you wherever it intersects. So okay. this one is looking at about 10 and a half inch mattress. And I think the newer ones are me like are measuring around 12 inches. And, and but then, it might just depend though, right? If depend because they're doing the sleep quiz and seeing do I get a firm mattress, medium, so I mean that's yeah, yeah. If you've done been on their website, they have that little test. Yeah. Like are you a side sleeper? How much you weigh? Right. They have their the standard offerings. It's not right. like they're making a mattress for you, which yeah. it which does make a big difference when it comes to customization. So the Helix mattress. Now this one is I believe it is a hybrid inner spring mattress. So let's open it up. So let's open up with the top zipper first. All because right. they do have that top zipper. You got it over there? Yep. Okay. All right. Let's. So, so they were complaining it was hot, but let's see first from the top part first. You know, this cover comes off. It's, you can wash it, but it says spot clean. You can't throw it in the washing machine. It's pretty cool how they do that. I, I do like how they could just take that off. That, yeah. that is a pretty cool feature. Some companies are doing that now. I know Tempur-Pedic's doing that. So it is a stretch knit cover, polyester fabric. Part of the reason why it's being hot is this right here, this material. Not gonna be very breathable, hold in your body heat. This is a, just a polyester type fabric. And so this is also polyester. Good thing with polyester is there's a lot of options for stretch and comfort, you know, as far as getting the feel, you can manipulate a lot more mm -hmm. than just cotton. However, bad thing about polyester is that it doesn't really breathe very good. And especially something like this, you know, I mean, you could just, you can just tell that there's just not a lot of breathability to this. When it comes to like temperature regulation, you want your mattress to breathe, get airflow. Yeah. Um, that's why we use cotton in the majority of our mattresses rather than polyester. So the customers complain about the heat issue. I can tell you right now, this was part of the, the, the issue. This was oh, the for culprit. Sure. Plus you, know? you got two, two layers, right? Stacked on top of each other. Yes. Plus your protector, right? I mean, they're just all these barriers, right? It's going to take away breathability. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Now let's, let's, let's go. Let's look inside. inside. Go in the hood. Go under the hood. Let's go. So we just already unzipped it to make things a little quicker and easier. This makes it a lot easier for us. Okay, now this is a pretty straightforward, simple mattress. So, so you got go, foam. Got the base there going from the, the bottom foam. up. You have the base layer. Now this is not a foam case, but they're still putting foam on the bottom. And reason why, you know, is what? Because they don't want the coils to what shrink in, right? Yeah, give it more of that, a that can happen. Mm -hmm. Is when you don't have this laminate to it, it does give it a little bit more stability to it. Typically, pocket coils sometimes it can shrink in a little bit. You pull it out, put a, a firm piece of foam on the bottom, and helps give it that structure. Yeah, and one thing I do like is that it is not foam encasement. Is that it has edge to edge coils, which, in our opinion, it's a better thing. Yeah, you so know, in our opinion. 
So let's see, on the bottom, you're looking at about an inch foam on the bottom. And then the coils, you got about a six, let's we'll see. give it a six inch coil. Yeah, which I would consider more of a, a lower profile coil. A lot of coils these days are about eight to nine inches. I see mostly eight inches, but you know, a six inch coil, it works. Yeah, let's see the coil gauge too, to okay, see how yeah. thick that wire is and what they're using. So this is a, do you a want new to toy. It? That do you want to use it today? Uh, sure. Right. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever let me use this toy. I've always asked him if I could play with this. I'm always tempted to throw it at him as a yeah, kind of star. I am. Let me see. What's your guess? 15. So my, my guess is a 14 gauge. But let's see. Nah, it's not a 14. So yeah, this looks like more like a 13 gauge coil, mm -hmm. where the lower the number, the thicker the coil. So this is a pretty thick coil. What I want to do first, though, because a lot of mattress companies are going to have a thicker coil on the edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear down this part and and see what's the coil gauge on the center part. So let's go to the third row. Usually the outer two rows are the thicker ones. So looks the same, but we'll see. So we were at 13. 13. Is it 13? He's still learning how to use the, the gauge. It's Maybe 13 and a half because a little bit loose. So I would say between yeah. 13 and 13 and a half gauge. That is more like a, on the firmer side, which will give it a bit of a firmer feel to mm -hmm. it. You know, it's saying it's a medium. You know, I just felt feeling on the top, it felt a little bit on the firmer side. Well, we'll do that in a bit, see how it feels. You know, so you got, that's that six inch coil, and then you got an inch in the bottom, and then look about another inch. So like, these seem like the same firmness. They seem both pretty firm. Yeah, feeling it, it does feel on the firmer side. So and again, got, it's when you're, it's not a foam case, and they're, they're pulling the coils out, they're gluing a firm on the bottom, and then a firm on the top, uh, just so it doesn't, you know, act like an accordion and squish right back in. Yeah, so you got about an inch on the on this this bottom layer, and then about an inch and a quarter on the layer right on top. So this should be a pretty firm mattress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely consider it more like a maybe even a medium firm, cushion firm type feel. So. So yeah, I mean, it's a very straightforward, simple mattress. Yeah, you know, not much it, to it. In a it's... queen size, this thing retails, I believe for $11.99 mm -hmm. to $12.99. Um, if you were to buy it on their website today, at least the, the, the equivalent version of this. In a king size, I want to say it's about $15.49, $14.99 ish. But yeah, it is a pretty simple, straightforward mattress. But now let's see, Gabe, let's see how it feels. Gabe's our resident. We're gonna do the taste, the, or the, not the taste test, the, the feel test. I mean, just touching by hand is firm, but let's see if it, you know, how it feels lying on it. Yeah, if you just slept on your hands, you know, they'll give you a good gauge, but we don't sleep on our hands. At least I don't. All right. Actually, it's pretty firm. From one being the softest, 10 being the firmness, I would say this is, man, this is firm. I'd say probably about an eight. Yeah. I mean, there's not much to it, you know, just that, you know, firm piece of foam and then the springs. Better for a back sleeper or stomach sleeper. If you're a side sleeper, I, I'd say this is probably a little bit too firm. Yeah. You know, it might fill in the shoulders and the hips. Yeah. And again, I say this all the time, you know, just this gives you an idea of the firmness rating. Take these, a lot of mattress reviews as a grain of salt because again, he's 180, 185-ish. That's, that's what he claims to be. I think that <laughs> might be a little bit more. But Maybe. But if you're like 120 pounds, you're gonna feel different. If you're 250 pounds, it's gonna feel different. So, but it gives you an idea, you know, this will definitely be on the firmer side of things. And um, yeah, so this is Helix mattress in a nutshell. If you guys have a Helix mattress and, and you've went with, what would you say, the Dusk? Yes, yeah. this will be the equivalent, will be the Dusk. Dusk, you know, let us know. Did you notice it being firm? Um, unless, you know, again, maybe you customize it yourself. Um, but also, you know, any questions, leave it in the comments below. You know, we will, uh, Pablo answers answer them sometimes personally. All right, yeah. And if you guys are on your mattress shopping journey and you, and you guys need a little bit of help, we put together a guide, a little mattress guide that breaks down and gives you tips on mattress shopping and mistakes not to make. Feel free to download it either on our website or on the link below. Yeah. And I, again, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you guys. Hope it was a little bit interesting. And yes. tell your neighbors and friends about us, you know, just uh, yeah. instead of, you know, turning on the news, come watch us open some mattresses. Yes. Yeah. That's a great family time is <laughs> mattress autopsy. So, Thank yeah, you thanks for watching. <laughs>